Now, as Russia wants to pull out of Elba, a Syrian bound government can't handle it. We killed 200 some civilians. Nothing, nothing has Assad. Assad will kill anybody to get his way, to get control of his country. To get control of his country, he will kill any human being in his way. This means his daughter, his mother, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. He will kill anything that gets in his way. Thousands of people fought him. There's no human observatory for human rights, at least killed 200, 200, at least 200 people, at least 200 civilians. It's, it's a drop in a bucket compared to people he's killed. And bombs. It's a drop in the bucket. It's a terrible way to end a war, fight a war. It's killing civilians. So that's what they do. And ISIS, don't forget ISIS. Al Qaeda, the kind of nurses, they do the same thing. They're the same sociopathic people. They're the same sociopathic people. These are people who don't care about civilians. Civilians are supposed to be protected, not killed. They just keep on killing them. Just keep on killing them. 300,000 dead already. 320,000. 330,000, maybe, yeah. What about all the people that died the last few days? Thousands. Thousands. The war you can't win. Prashar al Assad is not going to win the war. So he's a butcher. So why? They don't know why the Russians want to put that asshole in the head of a government. Because he's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's a butcher. He's wanted for war crimes. He's done war crimes. Now can you put that butcher in office? This is some main main story from news. Let's see all you serious. How can you put that butcher in office? Because he's a butcher. He's never been nothing but a butcher. Psychopathic, sociopathic, sadist, non empathetic, bump. This is something you can be starting to lose if you're watching.